A tribute to wounded warriors will go on display tomorrow at the Whitty Museum. In all, 98 veterans are represented in an exhibition of paintings. The artist, former President George W. Bush. Eyewitness News photojournalist Luis Gutierrez gives us a preview. These paintings are really a relationship of President Bush with the warriors. Scott received the traumatic head wound and so the, the scar, it, and President Bush points this out in the book, that the scar points to um, the, his daughter, McKaylee, and he talks about Scott's perseverance because he wasn't expected to live. And so I thought that was a beautiful testament. President Bush understood what we went through as a family. Being painted with Bobby and not knowing him, the president had, had somehow connected our personalities. And that's what these paintings are, is uh, a tribute to their journey uh, post-battle. Nobody else has gone through what we've gone through. No one else has gone through what our wives have gone through. No one else has gone through what our children have gone through. He captures the, the courage and the joy of, um, of succeeding beyond all expectations, uh, in many cases from deep wounds. Scotty's story is such a good story and it affected so many people all over the world. I mean, I'm sure you all were praying for all of our military and everything else. And it's such a good story and it affected so many people. And one of the people that affected quite a bit was President Bush. I was surprised because I was thinking, you know, what, what did I do so significant for him to remember me enough to put me on canvas. And, and, and I'll never know the answer to that other than just genuine conversations that we've had. So for me to get the opportunity to have sincere, genuine conversations with him um, is, is somehow how I got the opportunity to be on canvas. These are all lifelong friends now that we've met through the president. 